Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how you can better fit hair mesh to a character's head by utilizing the new Assign Conformable Regions feature. This allows for more natural hair performance when your character's face is animated. If you look closely at this example, you can see that this feature prevents the hair from breaking through the scalp mesh when stronger expressions are used. Let's start off by showing how to enable this feature. With the hair mesh selected, Simply click on the Assign Conformable Regions button in the Attributes tab of the Modify panel. Then click the Active checkbox. You'll see the affected area close to the character's scalp near the face region highlight, which is where most of this effect applies to. You can grow and shrink the affected areas using the respective buttons, and also use the Blend Range slider to alter the strength gradient. You can also simply click areas of the hair mesh to add them as well. Once you're satisfied with the affected range, simply hit Apply. Alternately, you can also use the Smart Select presets. Hairline is the default one, which is used in most cases, however you can also use Scalp to include the rear section of the head. and Base All, which will select the entire head mesh. You can add geometry in a more detailed way by using the Edit Range button, which will allow you to select and deselect individual polys similar to how you would do so in the Edit Mesh tool. Set Range will then apply this adjustment. The Distance slider will simply shrink or expand the selected area uniformly. Once you're satisfied, simply click the Apply button and then exit the tool. The Assign Conformable Region feature is a subtle little improvement that can quickly fix small mesh issues in detailed facial animation scenarios. Be sure to check back for more tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video.